Okay, so happy Tuesday. For today's tutorial, we are going to do some beachy waves. That's one thing that we get requests for a lot. So I just wanna show you a really simple way to put those in. Sarah's hair is prepped with a emollient and some volumizing tonic. So we've got the styling foam and we've got a good root lifter here. This is actually really great for day two hair. If you spray it on your hair when it's dry and then blast it with a blow dryer, it's gonna wake it back up for you and wake up that style. So that's a great idea on that day two if you've already curled your hair, kind of beachy look if you'd like, to just get some waves back in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is start on the side here. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip this part up. And see, we've got some nice spring pink in there. All right, and what you wanna do around the face is curl away. If you curl it towards your face, you're gonna get more of that kind of Hollywood glam and also it's going to be in your face. So I'm just going to take my curling iron and I'm gonna twist it away. And then I like to leave the ends just a little bit straight and pull it down. If you feel like it's a little too straight, like that piece, I wanna add just a little more bend. Just click right on there. See how we've left some of those ends out there? That's what's gonna give us more of that beachy way versus like really, really curled. I'm gonna take a little section right behind the ear. My sections usually aren't more than like an inch and a half or so, uh, but it's good to take them at random. If you take really perfect sections, then it looks very elementary, very juvenile, like you planned it. There's no, I woke up like this kind of hair. So we want that like, I've been at the beach, I've been on holiday. And so now I've gone away, away. Now I'm going forward just to mix it up. If you go away the whole time, it's going to give you great waves, but you've got to make sure that you use like a texture cream or a separator. Otherwise, it will turn into one giant wave for you. Okay, so here at her face again. And I just put that bend right where I want to see like the highlight come from, from the face. So if I were to twist it really high, that's not gonna accentuate any part of Sarah's face, not her eyes, not her cheekbones, not her jaw. So a good rule of thumb is right where the hollows of the face are, that's where the bend should start. So whether it's up here in that eye or right down here in the cheekbone or in the jaw, that'd be very low. But since her hair is kind of a medium length, we're gonna go up right into that little eye area. So notice right here where I'm clicking away, it lines up with it.
long day too and you still got that nice lived in beachy looks. And of course, we want to hear what you think. So let us know if any comments of any tutorials that you'd like to see um, or if you have any questions on how to do a beachy look for your hair.